If you guys don't already know, Samus is one of the most technical characters in the game. She has a myriad of advanced techniques that are unique to herself, and today, I, Kira, will show you how to do them. Keep in mind that these are only the more useful and commonly used advanced techniques, and she has much more difficult ones that aren't even that practical. The difficulty ratings next to the techniques in this video are compared to those more difficult ones that we'll go over another time. Last time on the Amino app, you guys voted for a How to Practice Fox video and also the Are You a Jigglypuff player, and I'm very happy to announce that we can do both of these soon. This time, there's a new poll between Falco's combo game, Falcon's combo game, and Sheik's complete guide to needles, since those were the most requested. So please check that out, but for now, let's get back to the techniques. Number one, bomb jumping. Bomb jumping is a big reason why Samus' recovery is so good. It helps her get back to the stage from anywhere, while saving her double jump and grapple. You can basically spam down B to do this, so it's very easy to perform. 2. Crouch Jabs Normally Samus' jabs can only be performed so fast, or else a second jab will come out which has much more lag. However, inputting a well-timed crouch between each jab will speed up its recovery time significantly. Crouch Jabs are some of Samus' best shield pressure and they're able to be spammed quickly and can lead into her second jab or tilt at any time. Number 3. Platform Cancelled Missiles Landing with Samus' missiles will cancel all of the normal lag of doing one on the ground, so Platform cancel Missiles turn her slow projectile into an insanely overwhelming one. On Yoshi Story and Stadium, you can simply short hop to cancel them, but on Battlefield and Dreamland you'll have to time a very fast double jump in order to land as soon as possible. Number 4. Up Air Interrupt This allows Samus to instantly be standing on a platform, and it's the fastest way to do grounded moves to keep up pressure when your opponent is on a platform. Normally opponents will expect an aerial attack, so doing a quick grounded one will catch them off guard. You can also Up Air Interrupt from the ledge, which is significantly harder. The easiest way to learn this is to start on DK64, since you can go through the bottom of the stage almost like a platform. Yoshi's Story is the next easiest, with any other stage afterwards being a little bit harder. Try to hug the ledge when you do this, keeping the yellow part of the armor touching the wall at all times to make it a bit easier. Number 5. Rising Grapple Samus has a lot more types of grapple recoveries than most people know. Make note that not all of these are always useful, but since there are so many options, your opponent probably won't be ready for all of them. In general, sweet spot up are probably more useful overall, so make sure to practice those as well. The tumble grapple is the most interesting one, and also the most difficult to pull off. You will go into a tumble, but you can do any move out of it at any time, including aerials, making it the most flexible option. In order to do this, you need to aim your grapple at a curved surface so it differs on every stage. Fountain of Dreams and Dreamland are extremely difficult to hit consistently, and on Yoshi's, our theory is that you need Randall to move through the stage for the tumble to work, otherwise you'll do a standard rising grapple. Anto suggests practicing on FD first to get used to it. There are also some more flashy and more situational advanced techniques that you can use. Number 1. Super Wave Dash While doing a grounded bomb jump, by holding one direction and instantly tapping the control stick the other way the same moment that you touch the ground, Samus can fly across the stage. If Samus jerks a tiny bit on the ground, that means you did it too early, and if she goes nowhere, that means you did it slightly too late. You also want to let go of the stick as quickly as possible to retain the most momentum going forward. As cool as this looks, it's really only useful to get from one side of the stage to the other quickly, since it's very strict on timing and your initial bomb jump makes it really easy to see coming. Number 2. Extender Samus can get a longer grapple than usual, which can home in on the opponent by pressing L or R, and won't grab the opponent unless the user presses A just as the tip of it connects. 
The most guaranteed way to get the extender is to mash up and down on the D-pad as well as the A button after you press Z. It can be used for tech chasing and surprise grabs on platforms, but most top Samus players prefer to keep their original grab. Number 3. Short Hop Fastfall Missile This is actually very useful if you can perform it consistently, but very few Samus mains are able to because it's so incredibly difficult to pull off. Full Hop Fastfall Missiles, Short Hop Non-Fastfall Missiles, or Platform Missiles are usually much more common, even if they are a bit slower. Number 4. Charge Shot Cancel this is just a random fake out, performed by pressing L or R any time after you see the charge shot come out. However, it can only be used if your charge shot isn't fully charged, and oftentimes it's more useful just to have your shot fully charged than to be able to perform this feint. Some of these techniques are extremely difficult, and there are even more advanced techniques that Samus has that are even harder to perform. Last time, you guys voted your favorite top player of all time, and here are the results. This time, let us know who you think has the best Samus, and we'll tally up the votes and show you in our next video. Thanks for watching.